Patricia Lyon and Rob Herring well taken at the front by Ulster yet again. Here they go with this churning drive, which has worked pretty well for them in the league so far. It's gone to ground, so they won't be able to complete the execution of the forward drive. Tui sets it up well. Keep your feet, lads! Kicked through by Munster, Rob Little. Oh, he's done well! Oh, he's right through! Unbelievable by the youngster! Two tries in his Ulster debut at the start of the season against the Newport Gwent Dragons. And he simply wriggles through a whole raft of red jerseys. Well, that came from nothing. Poor quality ball spits out and manages to get his hands on it. And then it looked like there was a blanket of defence really ready to envelop him. And as that bounces along the ground, two players come and beats the first straight through two and under the post. Uh, Ulster will be delighted to get those points. Very good pick up to start with acceleration, power through the two defenders and oddly dive to finish it off. Well, he dipped the shoulder wonderfully and brushed off the challenge of Keatley and uh, Dave Kilcoyne in between them. Well, the two Munstermen couldn't stop him. And what a time to do it. Just as half-time approaches, Paddy Jackson has added the extras, as they say, and Ulster having been under so much pressure after their initial try have come back and scored a second try, converted it, and with four and a half minutes to go to half-time, they lead by 14 points. Now, how did he get through, Ryan? Well, there certainly wasn't any space. Uh, Munster have been so physical all night, just uh, falling foul to that. Often difficult when the ball's bouncing around the ground. You're not focused on that uh, defence, and all of a sudden he finds a way to wriggle through that exceptional piece of individual talent.